You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today's tip comes from Bruce Bradford. Bruce describes himself because I wouldn't use this first line, but he says he's a grizzled old commercial banker with over 30 years of experience who enjoys working with entrepreneurs and CEOs to solve problems and capitalize on opportunities. He's very active on a number of boards in Santa Fe and Albuquerque. He's a mentor, a mentee, and a very engaged member of the sales success community. Here he is. A way that I like to build relationships with clients is what I call the continuum of need. This technique works even outside of sales. Here's the deal. We all have things. Sometimes they're problems. Other times they're opportunities that we wish we could figure out. On the business side, it may be getting pointed to the right CPA, lawyer, coach, insurance person, even a lowly banker. Personally, it may be connecting with the best automobile expert when it's time to buy a new car, finding help to getting my kid into the best school, or being asked to play on that golf course that is so very difficult to get on. I often use the continuum of need on my very first visit with a prospect. I'll pull out a business card early in our business meeting. I'll turn it over and draw a straight line on the back of the card. I'll hand the card over to the prospect and say that I'm there to talk about everything except selling them something. I want to hear about all of their needs and dreams that lie on that continuum. I played the trumpet in school a few decades ago, and when I wasn't first chair, I was practicing and challenging to win first chair. By using the continuum of need, I've been able to challenge first chair, the incumbent provider, in my case, the other banker, and over time, win new relationships. My hope that you'll try this out and see if it works for you too. Thanks for listening. To connect with Bruce, just click over to dailysales.tips forward slash 1022. And after you're done saying hello to Bruce, be sure to come back tomorrow for another great sales tip. Thanks for listening. 